It's one of those things we all tell ourselves, that you may be a bit overweight, but are still in great health. After studying the notion of benign obesity, experts say not so fast. When you sugarcoat problems, people take the recommendations half-heartedly and they go home feeling like, well, it's not really that much of a problem, so I don't really have to work on it that aggressively. The Journal of the American College of Cardiology published the findings of British researchers who tracked more than 2,000 people for two decades and found that more than half of those initially considered fat but fit eventually developed serious health problems. People don't realize the gravity of the situation. They develop a heart attack, they go in to the hospital, they have bypass surgery, and they come out of the hospital and they go back to their same lifestyle. And that's usually because we probably haven't done the best job of educating them that it was the lifestyle that created the problem. There is a way to look into the future in evaluation for metabolic syndrome. It's a collection of symptoms when put together create a heightened risk of cardiovascular disease. Key indicators are high blood pressure, high blood sugar, high bad cholesterol, low good cholesterol, and belly fat. If we're looking for one thing that will make a big difference in the whole metabolic syndrome, just changing your diet. Faced with the prospect of future decline, it pays to downsize before the weight weighs you down. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.